Hey guys, so for those of you new to the channel, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm Joe. I'm a private pilot who just recently got his instrument rating last week. And we are going to do our first recorded um, on video instrument flight. And we're going to head over to uh, Reading, Reading Airport. So we, we've done a Reading video before uh, VFR, but we're going to be doing it IFR now. Um, so we're going to head over to Reading. Um, so right now the weather here at Ocean County Airport is looking like let me take a look see what's it looking like guys right now uh, METAR is slightly out of date 81 minutes ago um, it was reporting uh, wind 06011 gust 16 visibility 10 sky conditions were scattered at 1900 broken at 13 overcast at 38 temperature 19 2.16 altimeter 3020 so right now we are uh i'm going through everything here just to do a little bit of a pre-flight um figure out our routing call up mcguire which i'll do with you guys on camera get my ifr clearance and then we will uh pre-flight the aircraft get that get all the cameras set up and all that fun stuff <laughs> Okie dokie guys, so if we take a look here, we're just going to quickly uh, get our information here together. Um, we are doing Ocean County to Reading Airport IFR. Um, right now it's 10.57 after a set of cameras and whatnot. I'm thinking like 11.40ish. We'll just do 11.45 for departure. Ocean County to Reading with an alternate. Uh, let's take a look at the alternate visor, see what, uh, see what it gives us. So looking like trends reporting VFR conditions, uh, broken 4,000 from a TAF. I'm happy with that as my alternate. Um, flight rules is IFR routing. Now, what I have learned is that this route that's advised is not issued um, because I've done this flight IFR. It was my first ever IFR flight. And I know that they typically that they typically do Dixie, Robbinsville, Yardley, Pottstown, and for some reason Hummel, which is an initial approach fix on uh, on an approach. That's what I was cleared last time. Um, so I'm thinking. I go back to flights here and I send this to the map. We can see, let's go to low, low IFR mode. Um, we can see Hummel's there and that's for the ILS 36. And right now the weather is uh, favoring runway 13. So what I'll probably do is nix Hummel because if they issue me the ILS 13 approach, um, ILS 13. It'll probably be something like outlet. I'll get vector to the ILS-13 because that's what the winds are favoring. So I'm going to file without Hummel in there. And I'll just file uh, Robbinsville Yardley Potsdam. Um, and that should be perfectly fine. Uh, Dixie Robbinsville Yardley Potsdam. And uh, that keeps us outside of the presidential TFR, even though we'd be IFR and able to transit it because we're IFR. So that'll be good there. Um, so we're going to go to flights really quick. And we can see 6,000 is our altitude. We're going to pack this flight just so I have all the information I need. Roots, uh, we already took care of. Okay, so uh, we can quickly go through the briefing as well, guys. Um, and that's what we're going to do because that's typically what you want to do for any flight, whether it be VFR or IFR. Uh, we got Franklin Field. We got a bunch of TFRs we're already aware of. Let's take a look at the air mets uh, for the area. Some mountain obscuration over the New York area, not going to really affect us. Just at the tip of there, Reading, some mountain obscuration. Not sweating it too much, mountain obscuration through the, uh, pretty much the uh, northeast corridor there, all the way back, all the way down to Georgia. A uh, bunch of air mats for IFR, essentially. 
perfectly fine, not worried about it, nothing to be concerned about. Icing, uh, inactive right now, uh, severity moderate tops at uh, flight level 220, no factor for us. Turbulence low, uh, some turbulence air mitts that we're going to be looking at, uh, doesn't look to be affecting us, turbulence high, doesn't affect us either. Uh, synopsis right now, uh, looks like there's a high pressure system um, here. Uh, just about to the southwest of us. Uh, high pressure system moving through. Um, winds don't look horrific. A little bit gusty today. Um, current weather METARs were marginal IFR or marginal VFR, I should say. Uh, pie reps, uh, got a couple of pie reps here. Bases and top reports, which is good. Forecast, we're going to be looking. Um, 1500 Zulu, that would make that 3 o'clock UTC, which is 11 a.m., which is now. Uh, we're looking at broken, uh, pretty much IFR all the way, all the way there. On the way back, uh, we're also looking at IFR. So, uh, neat. We'll be pretty much in the soup for the majority of it. Uh, perfectly fine with me, not worried about it. Um, I've done this flight full IMC, so I'm confident in it, and it's within my personal minimums. Uh, winds are looking um, pretty uneventful right now. Nothing, uh, nothing too bad. Everything looks to be coming um, from the from the east. <coughs> Tafts, we're already aware of them. Wind chart, fantastic. Uh, looking good there. We can do vertical cross section chart. And we can look at everything here. Winds aloft table, winds 112 at 14 knots. So we're going to have a tailwind and a headwind on the way back. Notices to airmen. Destination notums, obstructions, no runway closures, apron, main terminal apron, close to transient. It's fine. We're allowed to park there if we're going to the restaurant. Alternate one notums, uh, obscured view from the tower. Yeah, nothing. Uh, Nothing too serious to be concerned about. Obstructions. In route navigation, we're going to be using GPS as our backup. We are aware of most of these already because we've done this flight a couple of days ago. Communication, Solberg, and X and uh, Queen City. Airspace notums. We already know about the F FTCs, everything like that. And we're, yep, yep, yep. Uh, let's go back to in right really quick. I saw something that was interesting. <sighs> All right. Yeah, everything, everything here doesn't affect us. Others unverified. Um, cool. So we have uh, everything that we need to know for this flight. <clears throat> We are going to file this flight now. It's currently 11.04. Um, we just did the briefing, so we're going to go to, I wanna, oh my goodness, that give me enough time. Get all my cameras set up. 30, 40 minutes. 40 minutes, yeah, I should be fine with that. Okay, proceed to file. And we will do ICAO, IFR, General Aviation, 297 Mike Echo, 297 Mike Echo, true airspeed 110, airspeed knots, um, number of aircraft one, airport Ocean County, <clears throat> persons on board one, Dixie Robbinsville, Yardley, Pottstown, 6,000 crews, 53 fuel aboard. I'm going to have five hours of fuel, no problem there. Other information is fine. <clears throat> Remarks. Don't need any destinations. Reading, alternate Trenton, uh, no emergency dinghy, and my information. File and file. Okay, so now I've filed the flight plan. So if you guys look at my screen, you can see that actually ATC amended my route to what I expected, which was Pottstown 275 radial outbound to Hummel. Um, they like it. Don't know why. Have no idea. But is what it is. So we're going to call up McGuire now and uh, get our IFR clearance um, to Reading. So we'll call up McGuire clearance delivery. We're expecting. Now, what I always do is I do a line here. 
and I want to write um, RDG because that's my destination. I filed 6K um, and then I filed Dixie, Robbinsville, Yardley, Pottstown. So at least I know what I filed and I'll just write filed and then I'll do clear. Now a lot of people like to use the CRAFT acronym, um, Clearance Route Altitude Frequency Transponder. Um, clearance Route Altitude Frequency, yes. Um, but I just have it memorized so I don't need that cheat sheet, but ForeFlight does have that feature if you uh, want to use it. You just go to Scratch Pads, New Scratch Pad, CRAFT, and it's right there, which is cool. Um, but we don't need that. And we'll call the wire. Uh, hello, uh, November 297, Mike Gecko calling back uh, IFR to Reading. Yes, I got it right here. Are you ready to copy? I'm ready to copy. Then Mike Gecko clear to Reading via upon entering controlled airspace, proceed direct to Dixie as filed. On departure, climb maintain 2000. You can expect 4000 10 minutes after departure. Departure 3126.47, and your spark is 4246. Seven Mike Echo has cleared the Reading Airport via entering controlled airspace, direct Dixie as filed. Maintain 2,000, expect 4,000, 10, 10 after departure. Departure, fre <laughs> departure frequency 126.47, squawk 4246. Seven Mike Echo, your redeck is correct. Hopefully, call me back when you're number one, ready for departure. All right, I'll call you back when I'm ready for departure. Seven Mike Echo. Okay, so we just picked up our IFR clearance from an uncontrolled airport. Um, we were actually cleared as filed, which is great. Dixie, Robbinsville, Yardley, Pottstown. Easy, no problem there. Um, makes life easy. 2,000 initial, 4,000 after. 4246 is our transponder code, and departure frequency is 2647 from McGuire. And now we go out to the airplane and get her ready. Okay, very good. Good to go. Let's get the weather and everything here set up. Hold the uh, into the wind here. Get that zoomed in. All right. Let's get the weather. 100. Temperature 2, 1. Celsius, dew point 1, 6. Celsius, altimeter 3, 0, 2, 1. Ocean County Airport, automated weather observation. 1, 5, 3, niner. Zulu, wind 0, niner. 0 at 0, 8. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, broken, two, thousand, two, hundred. Uh. Overcast, three, thousand, four, hundred. Temperature, two, one, Celsius. Dew point, one, six, Celsius. Altimeter, three, zero, two, one. All right, we have the weather. 122.7 is the CTAF frequency, 19875 is not the departure frequency, 124 point, 2375, 2475, 2647, 2647 is tuned, um, we are cleared as filed, 4246 in the transponder, 4246, got that set. GPS modes enabled, flight plan. <clears throat> We're gonna be going to Dixie first. Dixie. D-I-X-I-E. Enter. Then Robbinsville. Dixie, Robbinsville. Yardley, Pottstown. 
Yard lane. Yard lane. Hot sound. Then Redding. Flight plan complete. Verify. Ocean County, Dixie, Robbinsville, Yardley, Pottstown, Redding. Dixie, Robbinsville, Yardley, Pottstown, Redding. Flight plan verified. Auxiliary page, we're going to be doing a rain check. Oh, that's not what I meant. Boop. We're going to go to rain prediction. Arrival at, we'll do 1243 and compute the RAIM. RAIM is available. Very good, that is complete. Navigation, set. Okie dokie, that is now set. Taxi lights on. Pre-taxi, seat belts, flaps, heat, avionics, ATIS, AWOS, altimeter, transponder, ADSB in and out's on. ADSB out is here. ADSB in is our sentry. Radio. Cool. Brakes. Attitude. Turn. HSI. Check left. Clear. Check right. Clear. There we go. Brake check. Good check. That looks good. You guys happy? I'm happy. Okay, cool. Oshkan traffic, Skyhawk, 7 Mike Echo, taxiing out to runway 6 from Ocean Air, Ocean County. Johnny. Johnny. As we're taxiing, I'm gonna just do a Bluetooth check, make sure that I can hear my uh, my phone. Yeah, cool, all right, cool. I know it's working, because I just turned on Spotify. That's cool, I'll be able to call McGuire for the IFR. All right, we're going to 4,000, guys. Um, uh, 2,000 initial, 4,000 final. Um, I'm curious to see where the tops are at. Hopefully they're below 4,000 so that I'm not going to have to be IMC the entire time. But if it is IMC, it makes for good content for you guys. <clears throat> wind was reported 090, so 30 degree crosswind off runway 6. Uh, runway 1432 is not authorized for an IFR departure um, due to the trees and the clearances. A lot of fun stuff. You can see all that. by reading the takeoff minimums document. Keep that ground lane going. Open that air up a little bit. It should be fun, guys. Going to Reading, grabbing some food. I love their airport, man. I love their airport. I love the people. I love the restaurant. The restaurant food is so freaking good. Like, 10 out of 10 for those of you aviators out there looking for a good bite to eat, dry state, Pennsylvania region, go to Clingers at the airport. Clear left, clear right. Ocean County traffic, Skyhawk 7, Mike Echo, crossing runway 3214 Alpha. Ocean County traffic. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get marker hot. <clears throat> All righty. And also, guys, as you can see, I have my iPad here. This is my full-size iPad. You guys saw in the uh, the pre-flight video, I had my iPad Mini. Uh, problem is, is that RAM mounts doesn't have like a official mount for it, other than the X clamp mount. 
Um, so if anyone has a good alternate that's available, please leave it in the comments because I would really appreciate it. Get back to a thousand. <clears throat> Run up time. Brakes are set, fuel set to both trim is set for takeoff, flight controls, aileron, aileron, elevator, elevator, rudder, rudder, flight controls are free and correct, and anti air lights have been tested. Fuel is full left and right. Instruments are all operating normally. Everything is uh, stable and balanced uh, on the ground as it should be. Turn coordinator was tested during uh, taxi. <clears throat> all right, mixture is fine for now for the run up and we will uh, bring her up to 1800, we'll rip him. Good drop, back to ball. I felt a fire there, hold on. Felt like a stutter, but we're good now. All right, uh, everything's spinning, spinning, not knock, turn coordinator, attitude, altimeter, airspeed, fuel flow, vacuum, amperage, pressure, temps, gas, voltage, checks. Idle check closed. Set course to zero four two. And idle stable back to a thousand. Okay, run ups complete. Pre takeoff checklist. Flaps are zero. Mixture's going to be full rich once we're on the runway. Don't want to fail the spark plugs. Auxiliary fuel pumps off. Transponders altitude reporting 1200. Landing light on. Taxi light off. Strobe lights on. Doors and windows will check the left. It's checked. Check the right. It's checked. All right. Cameras are going. Strobes are good. Uh, I have Sentry up. Good. Very good there. We're going to be going to Dixie, and uh, we're going to check the wind one more time. Wind zero seven zero at one one. Peak gusts one five. All right. Eleven gusting to fifteen. Ten knot crosswind. Nothing too cool. Let's call it McGuire and uh, get our clearance real quick here. Okay, let's call it McGuire. Get that time cleared because we're gonna get an IFR release. McGuire, seven Mike Echoes holding short of runway six at Ocean County, ready for IFR release. Roger. All right, uh, seven Mike Gecko, release for departure, if not off, and to advise McGuire and seven altimeter three zero two zero. Seven Mike Gecko. <clears throat> Okie dokie, four two four six, and we are good to go. One two two point seven twenty six forty seven. Ocean County traffic, Skyhawk seven Mike Gecko, departing runway six, Ocean County. All right, we're looking good. Extra goes full rich. Flight crosswind. Airspeed's alive, oil pressures and temps are in the green. We're in the air. This is the traffic system to be turning left crosswind for runway 7 Central. All right, we're going to turn direct Dixie through 100. Ocean County traffic, Skyhawk 7 Mike Echo is departing the air to the north, Ocean County.
McGuire departure, November 297, Mike Echo through 900 for 2000, direct Dixie. November 297, Mike Echo, McGuire departure, Ident. Maintain 4,000. We'll report the bases when able. Seven Mike Echo. We're still VFR. All right. Cleared to 4,000. Direct Dixie, guys. Nose down a little bit. Get that uh, BY climb going. Definitely a little bumpy today. No biggie. All right. I'm guessing the base is going to be like 2,500, to be honest. About to enter some IMC here, guys. So we are on the gauges. No longer looking outside. We are IMC. 2,000 are the bases. And McGuire 7 Mike Echo bases are 2,000. 7 Mike Echo, Roger, turn left heading 320, back just through Yardley. 320, 7 Mike Echo. Standard rate left turn. Continue the climb. Love it out, three two zero on that. Okay, we got uh, 1200 to go. Check the outside air temperature as well. Oh. There we go. 1000 to go. Breaking in and out of it here, guys. Looking good, though. Enjoying it. This is what instrument flying is all about, guys. Let's stay ahead of the curve here, guys. Stay ahead of the curve. Direct. Enter, enter. Just get that ready, because we're going to be getting direct Yardley. We're getting a vector right now to Yardley. 320 on the heading, up to 4,000. Through 3,400, altimeter set 3020. Mixture throttle trim. Looks absolutely great outside, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying it because I can't look outside right now. But honestly, flying uh, under instrument flight rules is the greatest thing. I love it so much. Um, it's a new, it's a new skill level that you really, uh, you work hard to get this rating, and uh, it really frees you in so many different ways. It, it's, it's not even funny. One hundred to go. Fire approach, land 5390, Foxtrot, 1100. Land 390, Foxtrot, McGuire departure, IDEN. IDEN, 905. Number 7 Mike Echo, fly hang 330. 330, 7 Mike Echo. Charlie Foxtrot, India Foxtrot, India contact, Atlantic City approach, 124.6, good day. 124.6, Charlie Fox, India Fox, India, good day. November 9, zero Fox shots, radar contact, three miles east of South Jersey, climb maintain, tree thousand. Up to tree thousand, nine zero Fox.
guys, there is no autopilot operational in this aircraft, so everything I'm doing here is hand flying. So we're hand flying all the way to Reading. But as you guys can see, uh, November 9, zero Fox shot, climb maintain 8,000, say basis when able. Climb maintain 8,000, we'll announce basis when able. As you guys can see, though, um, it's actually the air is not too bad right here. What are we flying over right now? Oh, we're over Lakehurst. Yeah, so um, on our way to Reading, guys, looks like we have ground speed of 101 knots right now. So we have like a 30 knot, a uh, 20 knot. I'm gonna give myself a little more power because I wanna. November 9 or 2 8, contact near approach 124.75. Good day. 24.75. Good day. 9 or 2 8. Going back into the soup here, guys. Straight back into a cloud. I love flying IFR, though, guys. It's just, it's a level of difficulty and, like, focus that you have to have. Don't get me wrong, VFR is fun and all, but getting your instrument rating, honestly, it's a no-brainer, in my opinion. November 7, Mike Echo, clear, direct Yardley. Direct Yardley, 7, Mike Echo. Good afternoon, I'm McGuire, approach to Skyline 528, Mike Juliet, 6000. November 528, Mike Juliet, McGuire, approach, Ident. Hey, Mike Juliet, Ident. Looking good. Alright guys, so let's stay ahead of the airplane here. Alright, uh, stay ahead of everything ready. Let's get the uh, the ATIS. 27-1, just get that ready. It's already in here. So, 27-1 is there. That's good. We're staying ahead of it. That's the idea. Weather. What's the weather reporting? Six minutes, go ADSB. Wind 08017. I'm assuming the ILS 13 is going to be. In. That's going to be my assumption. We're going to see if I'm correct. McGuire, Archer 8126 X ray, climbing past 700 for 2000. Archer 8126 X ray, McGuire. Take a look at that approach. And just get the frequencies that we need. Localizer is 110.55. CDI needle slightly left. Let's just turn left a little bit. Got that back. And the thing about flying IFR, guys, um, the thing about flying IFR is that it, a lot of it, very small corrections are needed. Very small. You do not need a lot of correction when you're flying IFR and you're slightly off course. You know, no more than 5, 10 degrees, I usually do. Um, no more than that, because it's not necessary. The, uh, the, the hardest thing about getting my instrument rating was learning how to scan. Um, scan, scan, scan is the most important thing with uh, when you're flying. A lot of people forget about the airspeed indicator, and that is one of the most important tools that you need. And the reason... November 7, Mike Echo, contact Philadelphia Approach 123.8. 123.8, 7 Mike Echo, see ya. Yep. 592, proceed direct Maisie. It's Mike Alpha Zulu, India Echo, Maisie to join Victor 3. Philly approach, November 297, Mike Echo, direct Yardley 4000. November 297, Mike Echo, Philly approach, altimeter 3020. 207, Mike Echo.
But as I was saying there, guys, is uh, when you're flying, when I was, uh, when you're flying, your airspeed indicator is huge, especially when you're in the uh, in the departure phase, um, especially if you have to make like a, a turnout. Um, if you're not watching your airspeed indicator and you're in a climb and your attitude is off, you know, you have to scan, look at your attitude, look at your VSI, look at your airspeed, look at your altimeter, you know, see what your uh, your exact attitude is in the climb because at one point... Hey, um, it's at 592, yeah, sorry, I'm just used to make Victor 3 there. Maisie, Dirk Solberg, sign. Um, one of the main things that... Um, happened on my departure is that I hit a wind gust and my airspeed uh, went down to 70. I'm like, nope, and I had to, you know, lower the nose, and you have to constantly be on that, especially in the climb, um, because airspeed is your friend. You don't want to stall in IMC. So your constant scan, airspeed, attitude, altimeter, BSI, turn coordinator, directional gyro, in this case it's an HSI for me. Um, but if you don't pay attention to these things, you, you just will not be able to competently fly instrument. And that's why, you know, the FAA makes you have to have 40 hours uh, under Part 61 of, uh, of imp instrument time before you can even take the check ride. I'm going to try to get a shortcut here. Just the, uh, yeah, I'll feel feel. Let's see how uh, kind Philly's feeling today. And Philly approach, 7 Mike Gecko. Any chance to direct pods down? 7 Mike Gecko, direct pods down the bridge. Appreciate it. 7 Mike Gecko's direct pods down now. That's cool. Nice little shortcut there. It's actually looking pretty nice outside. Um, not too bad. Beamon 62, 10 to 718, 2000. And uh, actually, let's reduce speed 189, 10 to 718, 2000. All right, direct pots down now. Cool. So at this point we have 41 miles to Pottstown. Uh, the wind actually is pretty nice up here. It's not it's not turbulent. It's nice and smooth. Smooth there. We have uh, 119 across the ground, indicating 100, roughly a 20 knot tailwind, which means on the way back it's going to suck because we're going to have a very very nasty nasty headwind. But that's all right. Number seven, Mike Echo, proceed direct Hummel. Direct Hummel, seven, Mike Echo. All right, so we just got, so we weren't cleared with Hummel, right? But I'm competent enough that it's H-U-M-E-L. I'm familiar with it, so direct. We're just gonna do H-U-M-E-L. And just get that set. And this is all about single pilot IFR multitasking. H. U. M. Blue Street 5220, reduce speed 170, then maintain 4000. L. Activate. Turn to 285 now. That's 285 right there. That's direct Hummel, so we now have that. Procedure, select, okay, cool. It does have that, so that's cool. We'll turn off the procedure mode. I just want to make sure. Now we're going to do have a good one. Uh, flight plan here. H-U-M-E-L, enter. We're looking good. Blue Street 5220, turn one setting 120, join a 9 array localizer, it's going to maintain 3,000. Uh, 
and now we're direct tumble. So you guys just see when you're when you're flying IFR, they're the gotchas. They're the moments where you know you, you, you may get something that you don't know. Now what I would do is if I was unfamiliar with that fix, but in this case I'm familiar, um, I would say, can you give me a vector? Can you spell it for me? Um, just so I can get everything programmed. So yeah, guys, um, instrument training went well. I did it all in, uh, in one straight week. Um, I mean, I had like eight hours before that. Shout out to my CFWI Brian, who dealt with me every single day for a week doing uh, instrument training. Uh, then two weeks later, I took my check ride, and uh, the rest is history. Check ride went really, really well. Um, it was honestly, um, it was just such a such a pleasurable uh, check ride to go through. It felt like it didn't feel like I was being examined. It felt just more like a conversation. Do you know if that happened to go in through that inner ring there for that home course? this one. It's honestly so beautiful though. Under your instrument rating. Hey, sure, I'm just curious, uh, are, you are you above the clouds there at five? All right, since you're between layers then uh, if you're comfortable with it, I'll just keep you at five and uh, pull pretty close to Zubex. Another broken layer right around 3,000. So I don't want to put you down in there if I didn't have to. Number 297, Mike Echo, contact writing approach 125.15. Have a good one. 2515, we'll see you later. So, Mike Echo. November 297, Mike Echo, direct Hummel, 4000. November 297, Mike Echo, ring approach. Verify you have information in Sierra Ridding. Uh, 7 Mike Echo, uh, the ANS is coming in broken from where we are. We're trying to pick it up now. 7 Mike Echo, Roger, just advise when you do uh, get information in Sierra and uh, how is your first terminal? I guess you went to Alice 36, correct? 
Uh, yeah, they gave us direct tumble. We filed, uh, the last was uh, Pottstown, but we're going to be full stop. We're going to the restaurant. Come on, sir, my gecko. So did you want, um, well, I'm going to take you for the Alice 13. So uh, continue present heading and spec, spec vectors for the Alice running 135 first person. All right, we're now on present heading and uh, vectors for uh, ILS 13, 7 my gecko. All right, so we're now present heading, guys. No longer direct tumble, but we're going to... Seven Mike Echo, turn right heading 300. Right tree zero zero, seven Mike Echo. All right, so the ILS-13, as we briefed. Seven Mike Echo has Sierra. Seven Mike Echo, Roger. Okie dokie. Okay, localizer 11055 that checks final approach course 133. I'll just get that set. Try to stay ahead of everything here, guys. 133. Just hit a down draft there. There's seven Mike Echo, just to maintain 3,000. 3,000, seven Mike Echo. Okay, while we're on this heading, let's do the approach plate briefing. We have a current uh, approach plate, it is dated current. ILS runway 13 approach into Reading. ATIS is 127.1. We have information, Sierra. Approach control is 12515. We're talking to them now. We're on a 300 heading, maintaining 3000. I always say that out loud just to, because I'm multitasking. I need to check gauges, constantly look back and forth. Flight gain and altitude, we're good. Don't worry about it. But don't worry about it. Reading Tower 199, let's stay ahead of everything. 199. Stay ahead of it. Okay, Foxtrot, Squawk, 0155. 0155, 168 Foxtrot. Approach Bonanza, 20. Approach in the mixture, slightly. Okay, let's talk, talk about the approach. Our minimums for the approach, 5, 4, 4, and 3 quarter. 5, 44, 3 quarter, that's fine. Final approach course, 133, the missed approach procedure. Climb straight ahead, 900, right turn to 3200, heading 280 to the Lancaster VR, radial 020 to outlet and hold. Do you just want to go to a viewer from your position? Say it again for a picture of whiskey. Did you want to just go direct uh, viewer from your position? Uh, oh, yeah, yes, sir, that, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I forgot I'm coming from the north. A picture of whiskey, yeah, request viewer if that's possible. Alright, we're full IMC, guys. We're going to be IMC for a little while until we get below this liar. Scissor whiskey, say again? Uh, yes, sir, request viewer if that's uh, possible. Uh, Caesar, wishing no problem. Proceed direct viewer report, Yachta inbound. Direct viewer report, Vox, Yachta inbound. Thank you, sir. Picture with you.
Vectoring me inside of outlet for Bragg 2900. Wind's knocking me around a little. I'll go fuel both now. Remember, uh, it's something like Echo six miles from Pagoda, turn right heading 100, maintain 3000 to establish on the localized cleared ILS runway 13 approach. 100 on heading, maintain 3000 until established, cleared ILS runway 13 approach, 7 Mike Echo. Ready to depart, Trooper Dan's at 2060 Whiskey's uh, heading 270 up to 3000. And 2060 Whiskey, reading departure radar contact. Continue heading uh, 270, back to Trooper Alice from 135 per square south of Procure Nick. Picture Whiskey, like to pick up the IFR to uh, Potts Town Heritage Field. Potts Hope's uh, alive. Right now? Uh, thank you, sir, after the uh, ILS. Uh, 260 Whiskey, you advise you pick it up prior to the ILS so you can just go on course. Okay, yeah, that'd be fine. Stick your whiskey. Roger, right, just as we ready to copy it. Localizer's okay, coming in. Remember, 2060 Whiskey cleared to Papa Tango Whiskey Airport via after departure. Fly runway heading, spec vectors to Bunt intersection as Bravo Uniform November Tango Sierra. And uh, maintain 5000. And on the go, you'll squawk 4220. Arch frequency will be this frequency. But at the picture with the will be clear to the Pottstown Air Force via runway heading to the Bunch intersection, climb to 5000, squawk 4220, and they'll be on this frequency. Then Caesar Whiskey, we're back correct. Departure 827 Delta Pop off 31, runway heading out of 1700 for two. Number uh, 827 Delta Pop ring departure radar contact and uh, I can get you back in that area that you were doing the air work at shortly. I just have a few approaches to have to work in. Okay, we can take a different runway if it uh, helps. Um, uh, I was under the impression you wanted to do uh, air work again, like you did before. Uh, negative, we wanted to do two more takeoffs and landings. Right, so you just want to stay in a pattern. That's affirmed. Uh, send the Papa Roger contact the uh, tower again when we're not for that and I guess make left traffic, I'll find them. Okay, you want to send a left turn? Affirmative. Left traffic, contact tower. Okay, left turn, over to tower. See ya. 7 Mike Echo established. No, 7 Mike Echo affirmative. Unnecessarily a uh, required report. So I got contact tower woman up and under. Nineteen nine, see us up, Mike Echo. Reading Tower, good afternoon. Seven Mike Echo is I lost one tree. Skyhawk two nine or seven Mike Echo, Reading Tower. Wind uh one one zero at eight, runway one three clear to land. One tree, clear to land, seven Mike Echo. Niner Zero Tango Hotel, we're only 1 3, taxi via Alpha Bravo. Minimums 5 4 4. 